Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Hayden and today I just wanted to give you guys a quick look at my setup. It actually has changed just a little bit since the last time we went over. I've gone from three monitors to two monitors. But just one other thing I wanted to say before we get into it. Now I went into building a PC in 2016 with the setup theme colors as red and black. But I still do that, but not as much, so I'm sitting in kind of like a rainbow build, but still red and black whenever I feel like it. So just a note, I can change it to red and black for the RGB on my setup whenever I want to, but sometimes I just feel like rainbow. But let's get a look at what it looks like. So here we go, guys. This is what my setup looks like as soon as you walk in the door. I have a side table right here just for some extra room that I don't have on my PC setup. But first off, this is my chair. This is just a generic red and black Staples chair, gaming chair that I got for about $130. Just by the looks of it, I've had it for about four to five years now, and it still feels really comfortable. Now, if you look to the left, this is my desk. This is the FlexiSpot sit-stand desk in black. It is motorized, so I can motorize it and make it go up just about to my shelves if I want to stand up. Now I've been a very, I've been very happy with this desk. I don't always move it up, but I'm still very satisfied with it. Now the next thing I wanna take a look at, as you can probably see, is I have dual monitors. Now I don't have stands on them because I got arms, and I'm actually very happy with this. I don't, and I'm not able to use three monitors anymore because I have to have these arms right here and here. There's not enough room, that's why I took it down. And honestly, I like having two because it feels minimal and it looks a lot better that way. Now, this is my setup that I sit at for gaming, schoolwork, and a little bit of YouTube work. But otherwise, that's about it. Now, another thing you might realize is my keyboard. My keyboard, I love it. The RGB effects on this thing are insane. This is the Drop Alt. These are HyperX pudding keycaps with... I believe Kai Kaiwa box white switches. So these switches sound very good and they are very satisfying when you click them. Now I got this, this is my red custom aviator coiled cable from somebody on Etsy. This guy builds them in his spare time and it came out really, really good. Just so I can match the original setup theme, I went with red. Now I have a few things on my desk. This is my wrist rest for when I game. This is my phone sit-up stand so I can see whatever notifications are coming in when I'm gaming. Next to that, I have my stream deck. This helps me switch scenes when I am when I am streaming. I don't really stream that much anymore. I'm not really, I don't really have that much time between work and school. Now, something I found that I actually saw in somebody else's setup was this alarm clock. Now, I don't have the time anymore on my PC when I can just look down and know the day, the time, and how, what the Fahrenheit degrees is outside. And I'm actually very happy with this. To the right of that is my Logitech G502 Lightspeed dock charger, my Razer Viper Ultimate charger, and the glorious Model O wireless gaming mouse receiver. So, sometimes I don't always feel like using my G502 Lightspeed, so I experiment with some other mice. Up here on my bureau is the Viper Ultimate Glorious Model O Wireless and my productivity mouse, the Logitech MX Master 3. So all these just sit up here whenever I feel like using them. Along with some other boxes of stuff that I have just laying out. While I'm gaming, I enjoy using the HyperX Cloud Flight S wireless gaming headset. These have very good cushion for my ears and they are wireless. So I can literally just get up from my PC setup and go to the bathroom and still wear these. I love them for that. I'm so sick of wireless, I mean wired, sorry. I'm so sick of the wired headphones, so I went with wireless and they sit on this cheap hanger on the side of my desk whenever I need them. Now, for a microphone, I use the Shure MV7 microphone. This was really what I had to go with because I really wanted the Shure SM7B and this was the closest and cheaper option. Besides, I also have a microphone like pop filter that belongs to an SM7B. And believe it or not, this is kind of a hack. I can put it on top and make it look just like the Shure SM7B 
even though it's not. So I leave that right there on my other monitor in case I ever need it. Now this is my arm. This is the Rode PSA 1 boom arm. I'm very happy with this. I was thinking about the compass arm or a frameworks arm, but this is all I need and I'm very happy with it. And it works very well. Now my mouse pad changes colors. This is the Gutsy Aiden Topo mouse pad. Now this is the Low edition. Now Low is another streamer and Gutsy Aiden is also a streamer. And he makes mouse pads sometimes with other people's designs. So this is one of the ones I have. I have about four. I have a red and black one, a blue and pink one. This is my other like purplish blue one. And I, ha I believe I have one more, which is called the Jake's Mouse Pad. It's white with a swirl and purple and pink. So this is just one of them that I use. I'm very happy with it. And I have a ton of mouse space, especially when I'm gaming. Now, this is my mini AR-15 on the top. I'm not a huge fan of guns, but this was just something that I thought was very cool to have, so I put it on top of my PC, and it looks pretty sweet with the rest of it. Now, recently with the 2020-2021 COVID-19 pandemic, I have had to switch to Zoom School, Zoom University Online. So in order to do that, I have a webcam. This is the Logitech C920. This thing is a 1080p webcam and I'm extremely happy with it. I currently have a cover on it just for privacy reasons, especially when I don't want to get hacked and people can see me. So I just have a cover and that sits right there on top and I can also use that for streaming. Now, let's move on to probably the best for last. This is my gaming PC. I call it Redro God. I bought this, I actually, I built this in 2016 Almost nothing of this is original from what I originally had, but besides my RX 580, now due to the ongoing COVID-19 pandemic and shortage with graphics cards, I am trying to get an RTX 3060 Ti because I refuse to pay scalper prices and I'm trying to get one at MSRP from the Newegg Shuffle, but otherwise I have a Ryzen 7 3700X processor with the Wraith Prism RGB cooler. And it looks awesome on top and I cannot get over the amount of RGB that just comes from my setup in general. I've always been an RGB fan and I know some others aren't. Now this is a look at the bottom of my PC. I try to cable manage as much as I can. I have this long one single tube that goes straight up to my setup with a rack for my other wires. And I have a cable box down here, which goes into my APC UPS battery backup, which you can barely see is in the corner. So my PC is protected from voltage and other strikes that may happen. I have some other things hanging down just because I'm kind of lazy to put it into cable management. But otherwise, I have an LED strip that goes up the back. That's what that white box is that goes up. And I also have some USB ports right here under my desk and on the side because you can never have too many USB ports on your PC. So I have a ton of extenders that go right back to my PC. One thing I didn't notice, I have Pebble speakers in the back. I use these for whenever I just don't feel like using my headphones on the side. So I use these speakers whenever I want to watch something or listen to something on my side monitor. Well, I web browse right here and this helps out a ton. So guys, I believe that is all. That is all I have. This is my late 2021 gaming PC setup. I hope you liked it. And let me know if there's anything that you think that would look good on my desk that you suggest. And let me know in the comments. But otherwise, follow my social media down below to know about my personal life outside of YouTube. But otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video.